Studio 3C in Rockefeller Center. This is Today in New York. And coming up next on this Sunday morning, we're taking you to Morocco, sort yeah. of. <laughs> yeah, we'll tell you about something called liquid gold, a great addition to any healthful summer dish. You're watching Today in New York, and we are getting ready to cook here in Studio 3C. Well, when you think of Morocco, you might think of the beautiful beaches, maybe the sandy deserts, but what about Moroccan food or Moroccan olive oil? Well, it turns out it's known in that region as liquid gold. And joining us to talk a little bit about that is nutrition health coach Maria Marlowe. Hello, Miss Maria. Hello, Pat. Thanks it's, for having me. Thank you for coming in and talking about this. We, You know, I always wonder the difference between a Moroccan oil, which, you know, made a big splash actually in the beauty market a couple of years ago. Love it, love it, love it. But um, what's the difference between a Moroccan oil and a regular olive oil? Well, Moroccan Moroccan olive oil is a really high quality oil, so almost all of it is extra virgin first cold pressed, mm -hmm. which means it's extracted very delicately so mm -hmm. that it maintains the highest amount of nutrients and it's also the best tasting. Mmm, okay, yes. well we love to taste here as you know. So um, there's, and you were saying that in the, this particular region in Morocco, this is a, an industry that women are making big inroads into, huh? Yes, and which is why I love it so much. Almost all of the Moroccan olive oil is made by women's collectives, mm -hmm. so the olive oil industry has created over 300,000 jobs for women. It's helping them, you know, uh, become employed. It's helping them raise their social status. So I'm all for supporting. If it's a great product and it's helping women work, I'm all for supporting Moroccan olive oil. I'm talking about this. <laughs> extending the olive branch, quite literally. This, uh, you know what? I don't think I've actually ever seen it with real olives on it. Pretty cool. Yeah. And, and so, so let's talk about. You want to make a wonderful dish for us this morning. It looks really good. Can't wait to taste it. So what, um, what are we making? So we're making zalouk, and this is a very classic Moroccan dish. It's mm -hmm. typically used as a dip, but it tastes so good that I just eat it with a fork. Okay. <laughs> okay. So it's made with eggplant, tomatoes, garlic, and spices. So super easy. Okay. So I'm going to walk you through it. The okay. first step I already did, which is I simply just boiled some eggplant. Boiled it? Boiled it, oh. yes. Okay. okay. So we wanted to soften it, boiled it, and just drained it really well, got okay. all the excess water okay. out. Okay. Slice, slice and drain. Okay. Yep, slice and drain. Super easy. Now mm -hmm. the second step we'll do together. So okay. we're going to start with this olive oil, and you can oh, see purity. It's oh. beautiful. It's like this it golden is. green is, right. color, right? And it's a little bit thicker, so that's how you can tell it's a higher quality okay. olive oil. Liquid gold. Yes. Okay. So we're going to pour a couple tablespoons of that mm -hmm. into the pot, mm -hmm. and then we're going to add our tomatoes. Do you want to oh, add those first? in? Tomatoes Okay, I sure yes. will. And you could add all of those all in. All of them? All okay. of them, yeah. So Ooh, be careful. Back up. Yes, back up. All right. That's cooking. <laughs> oh boy. Okay. And typically I would let these cook down a little Simmer. bit on their mm -hmm. own mm -hmm. so it, it gets, they get a little bit mushy, but mm -hmm. we'll just add the rest of the ingredients. So okay. you just kind of add one thing after another. Well, Next okay. we'll add the garlic, actually. Okay. The herbs. The, go yeah. uh, the garlic. The garlic. Now see, my, my norm, I would have I'd probably put the garlic in and let that, so you're, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Because I would have let the, okay. Yeah, the, rep the recipe's obviously there on our screen. If you want to take a quick screenshot, folks, do it now, <laughs> or we'll have it, of course, on the website. Uh -huh. And then some fresh parsley. We can add some fresh, yeah, parsley. That, okay. Yeah. The, all of it, or just to say? Uh, just to a taste. little bit. Okay. Yeah, Oops, I, I think I OD'd on the parsley. But we love, we love fresh herbs. <laughs> and we're going to add our um, our eggplant as well. Okay. Okay. So I'll grab this in. And then do you want to get some spices? I got the spices. Be... What? Paprika? Is paprika, this paprika? Yes. Yeah. Paprika and cumin. Oh, cumin. Love cumin. Yeah. Okay. So it smells so good. And so once it's all together, we, we've got you're it just, all together. You, we're gonna... You're just going to let this cook down for about 30 minutes. Okay. And then mash it together and mm -hmm. then that's it. And then this is your final final. Do you want to try? I, of course I do. So Let's see. Um, that looks really, really quite delicious. And how long are we going to simmer that? About 30 minutes. And then you can mm. serve it hot or cold. So mm -hmm. typically it's, it's chilled overnight in the fridge. It's, oh my goodness. This is really good. <laughs> I got a new recipe. Yay. Yes. Thank you, Maria. Thank, Thank you, you, you so much for pie. coming in. It's been a pleasure. And for more information on healthy cooking and delicious recipes, check out MariaMarlow.com. Gus, back over to you. <laughs> mm, I'll bring you some.